Just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tanelli podcast. Look at this. My favorite guest Buddy. is in the studio right now. Buddy. The great Tom Arnold. <laughs> Tom, you, Tom, by the way, let me just put, put the plug yes. in right there. You're, you're, you're playing at Cobb's Comedy Club this yes. weekend. Uh, two shows tonight, two shows on Saturday. Mm-hmm. You're wasting away. We both are, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've like, seen you so uh, much fatter. How much, <laughs> how much have you lost? Well, when I had my uh, first child two years ago, I'd gained a bunch of weight during the pregnancy, right? as men do, <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> I lost 100 pounds. And then wow. I And then I looked at myself and I was like, yeah, that's too much. Yeah. But you look old, so I gained about 15 back, so <laughs> I'm down 85 for a month. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're down 85 pounds, mm. and I'll tell you what. See, I lost 30 so right. far, and I've got another 40 to go. Yes. But, yes, but, but no, I, I, see, I lost. You how did good. you lose your weight? Uh, I, I stopped eating gluten right? because right. I ate a bunch of bread before right. and uh, sugar, and that's it. I do cardio, and I just, uh, you know, wow. that's it. I Eat lost mine with kidney stones. Oh, that's... Oh, oh yeah, I was please. so freaking sick oh. for four weeks. And I went to Weight Watchers about three days before I had them. Right. So one week, I lost seven and a half pounds. The right. next week, I lost like another five and a half. And I'm going... And all these old ladies in the in my, my group are going, oh, it's easier for a man. They're all pissed yes, off of at you, right? Yes, That's so great. So I go four weeks, and I've lost <clears throat> 30 pounds. Oh, my God. And they're looking at me, and they're going, how'd you do? And I said, ladies, I'm dedicated to this program. Right. I'm not fooling around. Why don't you get with it? Right. Oh, they were pissed. Ladies. I wasn't telling them I had kidney stones. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Or pancreatic cancer or something. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. knock on wood now. Yeah. Hey. I don't want that. <laughs> exactly. Hey, uh, I saw you on TV, CMT yes. Awards. Yes, I did it with, uh, uh, it's an award show. I did it with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We presented and we did a little comedy sketch. It was fun. Uh, your buddy Arnold. Yes, who has a plane, which uh, made it easier pro- to get to Nashville. Arnold's got his own plane? Of course he does. Really? Yes. So, what, so what's it like uh, uh, tooling around with Arnold on his plane? Well, uh, you know, his girlfriend was there and his assistant, so I was I scoped out the... There's a bed, which oh, I on. slept on. I'm going to stop you right there. Yeah. Is his girlfriend the maid? No. <laughs> oh. His girlfriend is very nice. Amazing, amazing All right, uh, okay. All right. And, uh, you know, but I slept... There's one bed, like one place to lay down. Yeah. And I slept on that. Okay. I felt like it was okay. That's good. Is Arnold a, good, a cool dude? He's a great guy. He's a yeah. great guy. So he how often? Of, he'd never been to Nashville. Right. So we went out to the Grand Ole Opry the night right. before. Yeah. And saw Carrie Underwood and a bunch of folks, and he he loved it. He was it was it was fun for him. Right. And he's still in good shape too. Huh? He's in great shape for an eighty year old. Yes. <laughs> Seven, 60, 68 almost. Sixty eight. Yeah. And does it does he still look buff? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And he works out every day. He's. You know, he's amazing. Yeah. 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 And you just announced that you're pregnant again. I am. Yes. <laughs> you're going to gain weight again with I, your wife? I'm going to try not to. <laughs> but we're, uh, we're we're having a girl this fall. Yeah. We're very excited. And when you do uh, IVF in vitro, yeah, which is what we did, you don't announce it until you're... Until you're 100%. Yeah. 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 You, fa- you pass a bunch of tests. For right. So we're very happy. So when you do that, do you know who the father is then too? Or? No. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> if, listen, I was up for a sperm donor the whole time. Right. But my wife was like, no. And I had some friends that offered, and uh, including Dak Shepard, this buddy of mine. Yeah. What a nice thing uh, to offer. Wow. You know, and his wife said it was okay, but she wanted to try it with mine. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I wish it was somebody else's. <laughs> Oh, that's mm. that's great. So, so what we want you to do yes, yes. is we have a brand new feature called That Poor Bastard. Right. And Baby Huey today is he that is poor. He is Baby Huey. He's the, and he's Jeez that always. poor bastard. Uh-huh. Yes. Now, are you, you're a sports fan. You yes, did the a huge sports, sports show. Fan. Okay. Huge sports fan. Now, tell me, is LeBron James, is has he lost his hair? Has he done something? That, has he got implants or something? Is What's the deal with LeBron's well, hair? Is he painting it on? Are they just getting old, right? Well, he's he's been losing his his hair for a while. You know, while, it's hard though. to tell the black guys because they can do that. Yeah, they they you know they when you're a white guy like me and you're balding, it's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> but uh, the black guys they do a little. They could keep it. More yeah. discreet. Because it looks like he's got his basketball playing hairline, but then when right. he does photo shoots and does media oh, well, of stuff, yeah. they Segal fill does, it in a little bit. That's what Steven Seagal does, too. Oh, he, he does? takes a Sharpie out. And, and, you know, I'm not kidding. I'm okay, not kidding. write down Sharpie then. Not kidding. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shave Baby Huey's baby, head. Wait, wait, let me say this. Uh, yes. The only thing good about Baby Huey is his hair. <laughs> like, that is, that wow. is his one 
great quality. He's got the best hair in radio. I've been does. told that. Yes. Yeah, he's been told that by everyone in the Everything building. Everything below that, there's trouble. <laughs> oh, come and, on. and you're the guy that's going to shave it for oh, him. I'd love to. Okay, okay so, to. so we're going to shave it. Are you sure it. it's okay? Yeah. I'm okay. You're okay. Gonna, so a, we're, we're going to shave his head, and then we're going to put some shoe polish on it to try and make it look like uh, LeBron James's hair, because I think he's using shoe polish. On okay. Stuff. Yeah. Well, I think there's something, again, the black guys use that they put on. Right. Uh-huh. It's not shoe polish, but <laughs> it's something to make it look even and it exact. Gotta fill it out a little yeah. bit. Okay, so yeah. we'll try Sharpies one day. We'll try shoe polish. Well, I right. mean, we're going to be doing this as long as they're playing basketball. And I've got to look at LeBron James <laughs> on TV. <laughs> you did something to you his know, hair. You really want to get some publicity. Yeah. yeah. Let's put that on his face. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and that worked well for Ted Danson. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But they would, they would not think it's LeBron. They think it was uh, Big Baby Davis or something like that. So you, you yeah. have a good authority that Steven Seagal actually uses a Sharpie. 100%. Yeah. I've wow. seen him do it. Yeah. I worked with him. That he is classic. He's a Sharpie, yeah. <laughs> Baby Huey Sharpie on Monday. Oh, All right? Okay. Wow. No, come Shoe on. Polish coming up next. Uh, Tom Arnold is in the studio. Don't go away. Yes. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.